All right, so next up, let's talk Creighton, Oregon. Both these teams really dominating performance in the first round. Oregon coming in as the 11 seed at 24 and 11, needed to win their conference tournament to even make the tournament. Creighton, three seed coming in at 24 and nine, really impressive resume so far throughout the year. Made a good run last year in the tournament to the Elite Eight, and this team is definitely talented enough to do it again. But both these teams are hot right now. Oregon kind of finally getting their entire team back. They've been a little injury prone throughout the year. So let's talk about Oregon real quick. All right, like I said, their last five, they've been rolling. All right, they won the big uh, Pac-12 tournament. I want to say Big Ten tournament. Uh, Non-conference-wise, all right, lost to Alabama, Santa Clara. Santa Clara, actually a pretty good resume, even though that doesn't look like a good loss. Santa Clara did beat Gonzaga. Uh, Alabama, we know what they're capable of. Not a bad loss there. Tournament teams that they've played are right, losses to Colorado, wins over Washington State, lost to Arizona, split with Washington State, another loss to Arizona, lost to Colorado, then ultimately in the Pac-12 tournament, beat Arizona and Colorado when it mattered, led by Dante. They look pretty good when he's rolling. And then Creighton, all right, Baylor Shireman, Ryan Cogbrenner, Trey Alexander, Creighton-wise, all right, tournament team-wise, they lost by 21 to Colorado State in the non-con. Really bad loss there. A tournament team, but still getting beat by 20 there. Not that good. They did beat Alabama. Single-digit loss to Marquette. Lost to UConn, but they ultimately would dip UConn later, winning by 20 points. Really good win there. And that would beat Marquette again. So you've beaten Marquette. You've beaten UConn. You're probably capable of beating anybody when you can beat those teams. I think this is going to be a pretty good game, though. Uh, it looks like Creighton's getting picked 84.5% of the time. Creighton favored by 5.5. Oregon, they're rolling right now. They're getting hot. And I think the winner of this game has a pretty good matchup with the chance to kind of advance to the lead eight. But Creighton, I'm really high on this team. I think this team has Final Four potential. Oregon, I think, can make a run here, but I don't know if they have that Final Four potential because the further you get kind of the – layout of how you've played all year kind of slowly comes into play yeah you can get hot and get on a run at the right time but at the end of the day you are who you are so I think ultimately Creighton gets the win here I would say more than five and a half so definitely wins by probably six to ten somewhere in that range but I think this game will be fairly close but I think Creighton at the end of the day is too much too consistent and Creighton ultimately gets the win here. But who do you think wins this game and why? Let me know down in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and most importantly, subscribe.